this pan uh, is a uh, matte fur. I can never say the last name. But what I did on this pan is I uh, started out with a clean pan and I went to season it and I put, uh, let me see here, I'll get, grab it, flaxseed oil on it. And that's the flaxseed oil that I right there. And I put a real light coat on it. And I brought it up to smoke point and I did that basically and I let it cool down. Added another very thin layer of flaxseed oil. And uh, this, after I cooked my first meal, this is what happened. I had all this uh, area in here and over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pan right down to the metal again. And I'm not going to use flaxseed this time, but what I am going to use are potato skins, salt, and uh, oil. And it seems like I have better results with that. So I just wanted to show you this pan and show you what it looks like. It, it's, uh, it is flaking off for some reason, and I don't know why. Uh, I did eggs in it, and I found out with eggs that you have to put butter in it. Uh, not olive oil or coconut oil, which I, I, I really like. But a lot of times what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of coconut oil in because I like the flavor of the eggs. But I have to put butter in to make it totally slippery. So let's cut this short. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind up cleaning this up. And I'll show you the process of cleaning it. And so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use uh, Barkeeper's Made. Okay, and I'm going to use some soap. And then I'm going to use a, a Brillo pad. And we're going to just clean this puppy right down to the, to the basic again. And we'll start all over from scratch. But this time I'm going to season it a little bit differently. So I'll come back and uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I'm back. And uh, that was a job and a half, I'll tell you. The, uh, the uh, kitchen cleanser or the bar keepers made didn't work too good. So what I had to use is a, this is a, like a sandpaper. It's a uh, 80 grit. Let's see if I can open this up and show you. Yeah, hang on a second. Here we go. It's an 80 grit. This is what I used, and I was able to clean it pretty well. Now, there's some scratch marks in it over here and around here, but I'm not worried too much about that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take it outside, uh, and I'm going to put it on the, the grill outside. I have a special burner, and I'm going to uh, boil up some potato skins. I'll probably put four tomatoes, potato skins in rather, some olive oil and some kosher salt. And I got the kosher salt right here. This is the kosher salt. And I'll probably try some oil to, put, to uh, mix it all together and I'll, I'll uh, cook it until it, the potato skins get real crispy. And then I'll let it cool down and then I'll do the same thing again. So uh, the next video that you'll see is, uh, boy that was a lot of work I'll tell you getting that clean but at least I was able to get it clean the bottom of the pan is the same as it was and I'm not too much worried about that but uh, this this is the part that I really need to uh, uh, try to seal so or season so I'll be back uh, in the next uh, few minutes okay see you later well here I am out in uh, my uh, grill in the garage and I got uh, my potato skins my kosher salt and I've got uh, what a avocado oil I believe no flaxseed oil in there and I'm boiling it in my pan so uh, let's, we're gonna see how this comes out and right now it looks pretty nice but I got enough potatoes I think it was like six or seven great big potatoes and then I peeled potatoes I gave the potatoes to my neighbor and I just kept the skins so I'm kind of moving around up on the edge to uh, season. I did this before and it worked out really well. And I like this way of doing it a lot better than, than putting the oil in. So I'm doing this with my phone here so without a camera so when it comes out. Whoops, there's one that fell over. But anyway, I'll let you know how it comes. I'll, I'll do this twice because I have over here I got uh, my potatoes with the salt in it and I got my flaxseed oil all set for the second uh, treatment. So we'll see how it uh, goes and I'll be back. Hey, here we are. It's uh, you see that the potato skins are all crispy now. And uh, I pushed them up the edge as much as I could. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these out, dump them, and then I'll, I'll put new ones in and repeat the process. The, the pan, if you look close, is starting to turn a little bit color around here, around the edges. 
getting a little bit browner, so uh, my amateur video here, but hey, you get the idea. <laughs> okay, we'll be back in a few minutes after I dump this and uh, we'll get some new stuff in. Again, here we are again, and uh, this is a second lot of uh, potato skins, the uh, kosher salt, and uh, the oil, flaxseed oils, but you know, there's no I just put maybe a half a cup or so, maybe a little bit more, three quarters of a cup of kosher salt. It's a bunch of oil, it doesn't have to be measured, and there's about three and a half potato skins in here. That's about it. This is a pretty small pan. It's about this big. I'll show you my hand, about that big. So we'll see what happens. It's starting to turn a little color around the edges, so uh, I'll be back in, uh, after it's done here and clean it up and show you the final result. Oh, well, here I am. I'm back in the kitchen and we're testing it by putting an egg in. What I did is I put a little bit of uh, coconut oil in because I like the, the, the taste of it and with a little slab of butter and I was going to see if how this thing uh, floats around here. I'm going to take my spatula and just pry the edges loose. Ooh, look at that. Wow. Look at this. Super. Well, we did a great job. So. The bottom line is, do I prefer the the potatoes and the salt and the oil uh, for seasoning the pan or over just the, uh, the 10 applications of the flaxseed oil? And frankly, I prefer the uh, potato skin, salt, and the oil. So that's it for now, and uh, we'll have another video uh, coming up on another pan, on a Dubouille pan. I'm going to do basically the same thing. So that's it for now. If you have any questions, go down below and leave, uh, leave your comments. Thank you.